Welcome water signs to your oracle of love reading. Welcome singles and couples. We'll have a look at these singles first. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, oracle of love. Who's potentially coming in for you? Who's in your path? Um, if we can get any indicators of this person that's coming in. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, oracle of love. <clears throat> Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. This is someone that's coming to you from afar, whether it's from a foreign shore, a different city, province, state, vicinity. This is someone that's on a quest, that's on a journey currently in their life, seeking more, wanting more, exploring more. They could also have water in their chart, much like you. This could also be you, that you're seeking to fill a void. You're seeking to fill a spot there, and this person is going to come in. You might have already ticked off certain things in your life. You're waiting for this dream relationship, this dream partnership, and it's potentially coming coming in for you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But there's something about a journey, there's something about a trip, whether this is an emotional journey that they're going through or a physical journey. You could meet this person whilst they're on holidays, but they're coming in from, from far away here with the Eight of Cups. With the Five of Pentacles, okay, there's a generous... Uh, there's generosity around this person with the Five of Pentacles. They could have endured hardship, and maybe this, this is why they're seeking this quest. You might meet them at a time where they're just coming out of hardship. They could work in rehabilitation, travel, um, meditation, meditation retreats, looking after those that are ill, looking after those that are poor here with the Five of Pentacles. Um, they could partake in charity work, own a charity, um, or perhaps be, have a, have. Um, recently enjoyed a very, very arduous relationship with the Five of Pentacles that has left them out of the coals. They've been left behind some by someone, or they've done, they've done some walking away that has impacted very, very heavily on them. And you'll definitely be able to give, as water signs, you'll be able to give them that emotional support, stability, and potentially rebirth. With the Four of Wands, some of you will be meeting. Um, some of you might be meeting a marriage uh, partner around this time. Some of you might be meeting someone that you will potentially be married to later in life. <clears throat> or someone that already is marriage, married. There's a celebration around this person. So this is also where you could be meeting a celebration. It could be at a wedding, at an engagement of some kind here. It could definitely be overseas as well, a celebration. Okay, King of Knight of Swords, they're coming in fairly quickly. They have an impulsive energy about them. Um, I think they definitely do want things to move quicker, move quickly, to evolve quickly here with the Knight of Swords. For some of you, there could be an, uh, an option of a rebound relationship coming up with the Knight of Swords here because this is someone that acts on impulse. Um... So for some, you will either be entering into a rebound um, relationship, you will be the rebound, or this other person might be the rebound with the Knight of Swords. This could be someone wanting a relationship, uh, jumping into something very quickly here. There's urgency and impulsiveness around the Knight of Swords. This is someone who's very good with words, but perhaps their words can often be spiteful, um, hurtful. They may not have a filter when they speak. Okay, King of Cups. There is stability. They're wanting stability with the King of Cups. They're wanting to make you an offer, and you will make them an offer in turn. I think there's a lot of things happening for them, but you'll see a lot of marriage potential in this person. I think you'll see that there is a brighter day, and there's an ability. Um, you'll have the opportunity, sorry, to travel and the ability to move forward and to grow together with the King of Cups. Very nice. It says there's potential for love. There's potential for very strong emotional attachments with the King of Cups here. For some, you could currently be in a um, a King of Swords, a Knight of Swords, sorry, situation here, where you are on the rebound and your next potential partner, and you know you're going to exit this relationship because it's not fulfilling you enough. You're, it's not giving you what you want. And your next relationship could very well be someone you fall deeply in love with, with the King of Cups, someone who's going to be there with you through thick or thin. Uh, there's a lot of, <clears throat> this person is very grounded. 
they're very stable and they've been through a lot. It, it could be the recent hardship they've been through or their upbringing or their set of circumstances, but this has taught them to be a certain way and as a result, um, they could very well be the one you end up with and get married to with the Four of Wands or they previously are coming from a relationship where they were married um, and you will be meeting this person. But there's a lot of potential for long-term love here and a very, very strong emotional bond and attachment with the King of Cups. Okay, the full card. You could be traveling with this person. You might meet them on travels. There's two cards that indicate a journey, um, a new beginning. But there's foolish behavior. I think this person might have come from a past where there was foolish behavior, where they were played out to be the fool. So there could be hurt, deceit, neglect, um, you know, being cast out in the cold here from this person. So I think that's going to, you're going to really emotionally take them under your wing, you know, as being water signs. You're able to do this and you'll see the potential this person has with you. This is a new beginning and it is sort of like you need to surrender to the universe here with the full card. Um, you need to surrender. The universe is sending you someone, you know, we see the fool with this beautiful white rose and he's on the edge of a precipice. So you are on the breakthrough of this of, of a relationship. For others of you, you're going to meet this person and they may seem a little bit guarded, guarded but you will break down those barriers. You just need to give them time and you need to be patient. There could be a bit of a separation whilst you're um, courting, whilst you're dating, and then you come back together. But you need to be patient here with the full card because it speaks of a journey that the two of you will have to take to um, to come into something uh, together, something beautiful and potentially long-term. There's celebrations around this person. Uh, they could be very social. They do like the outdoors. They do like to hike. They could be a snowboarder, a hiker, um, you know, a, a, an athlete. Uh, an equestrian, you know, love to travel. <clears throat> They're very kind natured. And I think this will definitely appeal to you in a lot of ways. <clears throat> Water signs, definitely. Let's have a look at what other qualities this person could potentially have. Okay, Priestess of Intuition, January 21st to Feb 17th. Okay. <clears throat> so you're looking at the sign of Aquarius here with the Priestess of Intuition. They're very spiritual and you'll connect on a very spiritual way here. You'll have good feelings about them. Your intuition will be right about this person. So it's you'll be a good judge of character and you'll know, you'll sort of be empathetic to their situation and you'll know what it is that they're going through. <clears throat> but you'll feel a, a karmic link or a bond towards this person with a priestess of intuition. They could be very spiritual and or religious. So they have a really good energy about them. You know, their vibe, their aura, you'll connect really well in this way. They'll bring a lot of energy to the relationship and a lot of energy to you. They'll put in a lot of energy also. As we saw with the Knight of Swords, this can often be over-enthusiasm too. <clears throat> so things might, this person might want to um, move things along quite quickly, despite just coming out of something maybe. But beautiful, good energy with the Priestess of Energy here. Everything will feel right. You'll feel amazing. It will just flow. Rebirth, November 25th <clears throat> to December 23rd. So you're looking around the time of Sagittarius for some of you. There's an Aquarius. There's a Sagittarius here. It could be an Aries as well. There could be a second chance for others of you. This person could come from your past and maybe this explains the hardship. The Priestess of Rebirth indicates there's a second chance coming up with this person. So it would make sense if you do spend some time away or you do fall apart with this person. <clears throat> the Priestess of Rebirth here is offering you a second chance at love, a second chance or another opportunity with this person. For some of you, this relationship will move very quickly. And you'll be hitting a lot of milestones, marriage, moving in together, um, integrity, someone that maintains their integrity is very honest, is by the books, believes in fairness, equality, uh, well-educated, learned, life experienced, has dignity, self-respect, respect for you, self-awareness, not self-conceit. 
uh, a really good head on their shoulders. Something hangs in the balance though. This could be other factors around this relationship before it can evolve or eventuate into something. And I think it might have been, they might have been in a situation where they walked away, they had that integrity. They walked away intact, maybe scarred in some ways, but still intact. And I think you're really going to respect this about them. They're very balanced, though, with whatever's happened around them. They're going to offer you beautiful energy, um, you know, rebirth. This could be rebirth in the way that you look at love. This could be a brand new love where you've never felt this way. The King of Cups has such strong emotion attached to them. Water signs that this could be you and you're just so attached. You could potentially fall in love with this person very, very deeply. Priestess of Strength, June 10th to July 7th. So you're looking around the time of late Gemini Cancer. Priest of, of strength here. Very strong-minded, strong-willed. You have the tree of life here. So they do want children. Uh, they do want beautiful things in their life. You know, they, they bring strength to you. They could be your rock. They could be a very grounded energy toward um, with this person here, with the priestess of strength. They could enjoy mental, you know, they could be very mentally strong, they could enjoy physical strength, physical fitness, they might be in that, indus um, that industry, that workplace, you know, they do like being outside with nature, with the strength card. Okay, Priestess of Fertility, she brings children, good news, productivity around this person, they could have children or want children, or you might end up having children with this person, whether planned or unplanned. The Priestess of Fertility said they, they are very maternal if you're looking for a female. Or if you're looking for a male, this person will be very paternal. Um, the qualities that you're looking for for a potential mate if you're wanting to have children with this person. <clears throat> so that's beautiful to see. Let's have a look at <clears throat> coupled water signs and see where this relationship is going for coupled water signs so coupled water signs cancer pisces scorpio Okay, two of pentacles. A lot of things hang in the balance for some of you coupled water signs. There could be a potential other person that's coming in here for you. There could also be distance um, between the two of you, whether it's because of a trip, a holiday, a work trip. Um, this is also you overlooking your finances, perhaps going over your finances with your coupled one if you have joint accounts. Um, there's a lot of decision making that's going to happen, but I feel it's big decisions because there's a boat behind you. Um, so a lot of things hang in the balance and there's big decision making that's potentially coming in for water signs that are coupled, married, um, courting, etc. Okay, four of swords, this could speak of a journey. Um, there could also, also be withdrawal from one person, one couple, whether it's your withdrawal or someone else. This is a period of rest. Some of you might be taking a break. There is a journey here, so I do think it's distance or you're traveling on your own without your um, significant other, potentially, which leads to the Four of Swords. Um, for some of you, you're really unsure about if you want this relationship to proceed or not. The Two of Pentacles is indecisiveness, weighing up the pros and cons of someone. And then the Four of Swords is perhaps retreating from this person or them retreating from you, taking time away, taking time off for a reason. Okay, Eight of Cups. Some of you will be leaving a relationship because it's not fulfilling you. Uh, perhaps it's been stagnant with the Four of Swords here and you've been thinking about this for quite some time and you're going to implement this action and leave this person or they will leave you. The Eight of Cups is looking for fulfillment as elsewhere. It's about going on a journey. And for some of you, this other person won't be a part of your, this journey with you. For others, there could be a potential um, a holiday coming up, a trip, an opportunity with your loved one that you will take. 
This looks like a church here as well. So there could be a wedding, a funeral coming up in your relationship or around you or an, uh, or an event that requires attendance to a church or a religious house. The Ace of Swords is victory coming in for some of you. Something that you've been fighting through, if you've been stagnant or distant, you might separate and come back together. Or for others of you, travels, more experience, more um, memories, experiences in this relationship will make you even stronger. Ace of Swords. This could even be inner reflection makes, you, makes this relationship stronger. Whether this inner reflection is done by yourself or the person you're coupled up with, there's victory coming up. It could be because you're buying a house. It could be because you're taking a holiday, retirement together. Um, you know, if someone's passed around the two of you recently, if it's funeral plans you need to arrange, you'll do it. Ace of Swords says there's victory. It's been hard, but it's about to pay off. You'll definitely reap the rewards and you'll definitely come, come together and be stronger than you were. Okay, Page of Wands, there's a message of sex, love, communication, action, movement and progress with the Page of Wands. So for some of you, you will be definitely growing closer together. Definitely marriage, travel and long-term plans for each other in the future. This, the Two of Pentacles could even be buying um, assets and homes together. The Page of Wands is also action and movement. So there could be a holiday you plan together or it could be that um, things... You know, you progress to the next level and things are becoming really intimate and you just go through a really, really, really good period where you're just really into each other. Um, you know, you're connecting very well physically, emotionally, mentally with the Page of Wands here. Very nice. Could be fire signs. There's, uh, there's a bit of everything. There's earth, air, cups um, and fire. So regardless of the sign, I'm seeing that there's an improvement and there's strong intimacy Maybe that's what's been stagnant or lacking in your relationship. This is about to change. Um, declaration of feelings um, as well here. Okay, you've had the higher offense. There's marriage for some of you coupled ones, celebrating a marriage and engagement, um, renewing your, your wedding vows with the higher offense here. <clears throat> sort of being in, the, in a religious house, declaring your love um, for other people or declaring your love, finally becoming exclusive because a hierophant is someone that's in the public eye and does have people admiring them. So I think a lot of people would be admiring you as a couple, admiring the trials or tribulations you've been through or coming together stronger. A lot of people will notice this, in-laws, parents, friends, associates. They might notice this difference, you know, in the dynamic of your relationship and be really, really happy for you. But for others, there is potentially a marriage ceremony uh, along with um, a, a honeymoon or a holiday. Very nice with the Hierophant, the strong uh, Taurus. Okay, Priestess of Wisdom, September 30th. So you're looking around the time of Libra. This person is very wise for their age, learned, life-skilled, life-experienced, well-educated. They could be an intellectual, philosophical, um, you know, update, uh, very aware of current affairs, history, film, fashion, very wise or has expertise in something. They could be a scholar as well. Um, they do want to mentor you, though. They do want to continue to mentor you. Um, so more wisdom is coming to this relationship. You're gaining more wisdom about this person. They're teaching you things about themselves. Okay, healing. So if those that have had a period of stagnancy, there's healing that's coming to you, which is beautiful. And priestess of healing. There's healing in a relationship. Healing of old wounds. You know, if it's intimacy issues you're having, this will this was coming up that it's healing. Um, healing of the heart, past conflicts, past transgressions, healing and just strengthening of relationships, strengthening of bonds. Um, for others of you, you will be ex uh, leaving behind a relationship and healing because that was the wise thing for you to do. Okay, Priestess of Strength, June 10th to July 7th. Some of you will need to have that strength. You're looking around the time of Cancer, late Gemini to early Cancer. Um, there's a reason why strength is needed, mental strength, physical strength, um, strength in a relationship. <clears throat> As I said, it could be that you need the strength to walk away. For others of you, it's that you've maintained the strength and you will be victorious to have a beautiful relationship and to break through those conflicts that you may have been experiencing. 
Okay, the priestess of divination, this is someone that's divinely orchestrated to be in your life. This is fate that has sent you this person. There's divine things that are happening around your relationship. There's signs, synchronicity, um, beautiful energies that's circulating around the relationships. Things that are orchestrated from a higher power that are currently happening in the relationship with the priestess of divination. There's a higher power at play here between the two of you and your relationship together. Fertility. There could be potential pregnancy for some of you, a new child, um, or a pregnancy around you or this person. New ideas, it's planting a seed, it's really watching things grow. We see these beautiful flowers um, in full bloom here <clears throat> with the priestess of fertility. So that's beautiful. There's, there's sensuality, very strong um, sexual chemistry and connection here with this person. There's also new ideas, productivity in this relationship, new dynamics, things are changing. Um, for the better. Okay, Priestess of Ambition, December 24th to January 10th. <clears throat> so you're looking around the time of Capricorn. Um, there's a lot of ambition around you or around this person, or around you, the two of you as a couple. It's almost like a feel of a power couple coming through here. A lot of people will be noticing you. A lot of people would be admiring your strengths and your compassion and your ability to grow through um, tough times together, renew your vows, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, you know, trying to get pregnant. But this ambition is going to make the two of you a very strong team and will often leave people just feeling somewhat envious of the relationship some of you have for each other. For others of you, um, it will be walking away from a relationship. For others, it could be a pregnancy and then you walk away. So, But um, I hope you've enjoyed this Water Signs. Uh, if you'd like a private reading, I can do a private Oracle of Love reading. Um, it is generally more specific and it does go for about 30 minutes. So um, please feel free to contact me. Otherwise, um, all the best and hopefully chat soon. Thanks again.